Hi all, my name is Tim Olson. I'm one of the developers working on the ViaCAD family of products from Encore, the ViaCAD 2D, 2D 3D, and ViaCAD Pro. Today we're going to demonstrate how a user can conceptualize an idea and take that idea, make a digital prototype, push and pull it into different various uh, ideas, and then finally take the part and make a physical model out of it using 3D printing. For our example today, we're going to go ahead and create a spoon. Suppose you have a new family member, a new niece or nephew, and you want to do something unique, something special, uh, something personal. So you decide you're going to create a spoon uh, for your new niece or nephew. And I'm going to show you how we could go about uh, conceptualizing that spoon, to explore different shapes, and then finally uh, have a 3D printed model created of it. All right, we're going to start off with the uh, mesh and subdivision tools to create this model. And I'm going to create a block and I'm just going to sketch the base of the spoon. And you can see I can sketch something and then I can go back up to what's called the data entry window. I can go ahead and make this more precise. And uh, next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out a handle for our spoon. And I'm going to select the deep select tool and I'm going to grab this middle facet here and let's turn on the gripper. That's how we're going to do a lot of our push pulling. And let's go ahead and pull that facet out, extrude it, copy it, and let's pull out a couple more to help uh, the shape of our handle of the spoon. And I'm going to zoom up and let's grab the scale widget of the gripper and let's scale copy this end facet down. All right, so believe it or not, that's the, that's the beginning of our spoon. Uh, let's uh, jump over here into the uh, front view, and we're going to take the spoon itself and thin this out a bit. And I'm just going to grab all these points, and I'm going to go over to the gripper, and I'm going to tell it to do uh, non-uniform scaling. So this, it's just going to scale in Z right now. There we go. That's a lot thinner. But you know what? Where the handle connects, I'm going, to go, I'm going to make that wider and let's pull that back out. All right, and now let's uh, start uh, giving a little bit more shape here. I'm going to grab these corner vertices and I'm going to do a scaling operation on it. So it's just going to scale them about the center and that rounds them off. And let's go out to the top of the spoon and let's, um, let's pull it out. All right, so here's what our spoon's looking like uh, as a collection of quad facets. Now let's go ahead and let's turn this into a subdivided mess. I'm just gonna pick it, I'm gonna sub subdivide it once, twice, three times. Then let's go ahead and let's, we, we need to put a bowl in here. So let's, uh, let's grab these points, jump over into the front view, and let's pull them down. There we go. And let's see what that looks like as a subdivided mesh. All right, let's uh, now take our handle. Let's, uh, let's give it some more shape. Let's pull it up. There we go. And it's kind of a short handle. Let's, uh, let's make it longer. And let's take uh, these uh, facets near the end of the spoon and let's flare those out a bit. And I'm going to uh, just grab those points and pull it out along the Y direction. Okay, so we're coming along. Let's do some more. Uh, let's do some more uh, shaping of this. Let's take the handle and let's make it less thin. There we go. And suppose we want to change the uh, tip of the spoon. Let's. We uh, can. Make it more, less, uh, and you can see the uh, different ways in which you can you can modify this. All right, let's let's try that for our spoon. Suppose we want to send it off to have someone else uh, review it. Uh, we probably want to put a some a couple of dimensions on it. 
Uh, let me take our spoon and do a model to sheet of it. And I'll just make a make it in the top view. And then I'm going to pick our spoon and I'm going to uh, put a bounding box on it so I can get some hard dimensions off the length and the width. And let's go ahead and dimension those vertices. So we're a little over four inches long and we're almost an inch tall uh, for the spoon. Let's get rid of that bounding box. We don't need that anymore. And uh, let's, uh, let's, let's share it with somebody. Let's, um, let's print out a PDF of it. Let's uh, go to the print tool and let's do a, uh, let's, let's mail our PDF to somebody. Let's uh, send it off to anyone we want. All right. Or let's, uh, let's send it off to uh, Adobe Illustrator. Let's just send, uh, save it as a PDF. I'll save it to my desktop. I'll call it my test. Then I'll pop up Adobe Illustrator. And let's open that up in Illustrator. And if we want to do more with it in another program that just demonstrates you can you can do so. Let's go back over into our uh, our model, and let's go back to the original model, the 3D model, not the drawing. Let's isolate that layer that contains it. Something else we can do once we have our part created is uh, add some photorealistic uh, visualization to the to the design. Uh, I'm going to pull up our rendering tools and uh, let's change this model to white and let's just render it as a uh, plastic. Or let's uh, go ahead and render it as a uh, more of a gold. And this just lets you visualize the model in a little bit more realistic uh, setting. And now let's go ahead and let's, let's export it as an STL file because uh, I want to send this off to have it have it estimated how long how much it would cost to have it built. So let's make an STL file, and we'll call it my spoon. And uh, I'm going to launch uh, a browser for uh, Shapeways, and I'm going to upload it to Shapeways just to get a cost on it. And I'm going to upload my design. I'll select my file, it's my spoon, and let's uh, put it in inches. I did my model in inches, and let's upload it. So it's going ahead and, and processing my model now. It's, it's validating, confirming it, and as soon as it's finished, it will uh, display into my models here. So now Shapeways has uh, processed my spoon. It's validated the model, and it's even uh, created a cost for the model for a variety of material types. The uh, default material type is a white, strong, and flexible for less than $5. I probably might do that for my prototype, uh, just to make sure it's everything that I want it to be, and then uh, follow it up with uh, selecting one of these other types. For example, I could have a gold-plated glossy one for $27, or I'm going to do silver glossy for $82. Let's go to our, add this to our cart, go to the checkout, and you can see for under $100, it looks like we can get a silver custom-made spoon for our niece and nephew. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration of how ViaCAD can take your concept to 3D printed part. If you'd like more information about the ViaCAD family of products, please visit www.punchcad.com.